All right, it is time for the Mexican Grand Prix. Observations. I have no working title just yet. <laughs> Not entirely sure what to make the working title of this of this observation, but I digress. So I'm not going to be talking about what happened on track. It's not particularly important. Did Sir Lewis Hamilton drive triple S grade Grand Prix? Yes. Did Perez underwhelm? Yes. Um, have Ferrari underwhelmed? Yes. Why have Ferrari underwhelmed? They probably don't like the high, the high altitude. Has Ricardo driven a good race? Yes. He probably likes the probably likes the mariachi vibes he probably liked the samba vibes in brazil as well i ain't too fussed about the grand prix um anyone who's got some trepidation about george russell perhaps crashing into a sir lewis hamilton the great eight-time world champion sir lewis hamilton but it's not gonna happen the boy is not gonna let that happen because he'll always be in the wrong <laughs> the, the, the guy has eight championships, countable ones. There's more. But he's got eight championships, so George has no license to be crashing into him and trying to blame him. Because he's proven to be too good. So he's not going to let that happen. He's too good to let it happen. And likewise, Sir Lewis Hamilton is too good to let it. He might crash into another team's car, a science. That could happen. <laughs> but it definitely won't be the other Mercedes. All right, that would be a nuclear situation for George Russell and well, it remains to be seen if he can actually handle the type of pressure that that would that, that would generate on him. So that's that's just never going to happen. But otherwise, some off-track events were a lot more interesting than the Grand Prix itself. So, I'm going to talk about those instead. So, I got to start off with Helmut Marko. Dr. Marco, he insists that there is a leak at the FIA because teams had detailed knowledge about Red Bull's overspeed. But what exactly was the detailed knowledge, Marco? I, I'm, I'm really going to need you to clarify here. Right, because Toto, he's, he whispered 8 million, 6 million, because those were the only numbers that I heard prior to anything coming out from official sources so if you're saying that was detailed knowledge then it means anything that's come out and post it's all it's all cooked all right it's all cooked and if red bull fans want to say all the teams are cooking the books okay all the teams are cooking the books none of the other teams got caught oh but tracy martin tracy martin <laughs> they just don't want to share some financial information they insist their books are correct the fia has checked their books are correct but you then quite follow procedure on everything <laughs> and that matters and trace mon say give a fuck you can fine us for that if you so want to and they'll they'll take a fine whatever it so happens to be probably be a pittance i, I don't know what they could find them after they find red bull seven mil for actually breaching cap by however much you so want to say it was all right now with this tax rebate they're saying it was 400k you're still over budget At the end of the day you still over budget the books are cooked and there's an insider saying someone else had detailed knowledge the fans still don't have that detailed knowledge i don't know where this detailed knowledge is i don't know where any of that is it's missing to me <laughs> <laughs> it's missing to me. The only things I heard prior to were some very high estimates. Five mil plus. So if that was the detailed knowledge, because that's all I heard other teams saying, <laughs> then I really am hard pressed to find any sort of reason to take Red Bull's explanation of the findings as gospel. Likewise, the FIAs. Because Marco's debunked those now, so <laughs> call that what you will. All right, so in some circles of the internet that I frequent, <laughs> uh, well, there's some F1, there's some F1 shit that goes on 
over there. And there's a Maximilian fan or Red Bull fan, I'm not quite sure which he is just yet. Either way, what was most striking to me and why I'm noting this and the GP observations is because he didn't get it. He didn't get it. He said, okay, sure, Red Bull are over by 2 million. What's the big deal? What can you get with 2 million? Mercedes was spending 400 million on their car just a few seasons back. Ooh, storming like a motherfucker out here. Oh, this recording happening right now. <laughs> but this was his logic. Oh, Mercedes spent 400 mil before the cap, so what does the 2 million matter? And quite frankly, I was gobsmacked. I couldn't believe it. So I had to ask him, how long exactly have you been watching F1? Because someone else was explaining to him that the established science is that you spend a mil, you grab a tenth of performance. And this has been <laughs> an established metric for I don't know how many years in F1. Definitely before I was watching. <laughs> and, he, and, and, the, and, the, and the man, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. So in his mind, Maximilian is a completely legitimate champion despite all the post optics of Massey being fired and now you're over cap. And some of the pundits are slipping and saying eight time world champion. <laughs> how, how did they get to that conclusion? All right, Alonso has chimed in And quite frankly, he's making the clown of himself. I'm not quite sure why he's making a clown of himself. Perhaps he's trying to fish a, a Red Bull drive when Marco gets tired of Checo. Who knows? Who knows, yeah? <laughs> well, that's my thought. That was my first thought, but... No, it just looks more like he's just making a clown of himself. And it's disappointing. It's really disappointing. <laughs> that he can have uh, such PTSD around racing rookie, rookie Sir Lewis Hamilton. How can you have so much trauma from that? That you're still trying to find any way to dig him out right now. You know, what will the Germans be saying about your take? Like, did you think that far? Like, did you really think that far? What will the Germans be saying? And there's all these German manufacturers coming in. They're hoping to bank on the audience that... Oh, on the audience and mystique that Schumacher built up. And here comes Das Alonso. Say in a madness. Completely... Unprompted, just, just out with the madness, bro. <laughs> just, oh, these two championships are more valuable than seven. Oh, really? Okay, I've been irresponsible even mentioning this here, but chime in, Alonso. The universe is listening, right? Always remember the universe is listening, and the universe knows the type of stupidness you might do in the near future, so it's gonna... <laughs> Sometimes it might clap you upside the head just before but oh well if the lesson ain't learned i suppose we'll see what happens to a brother in brazil but alonso don't don't be foolish like this this is this is very wasteful foolishness right you you, you got like one more salvo of foolishness left and then it stops mattering that you're that you're a complete driver it stops mattering at that point oh the optics on on this guy just give a fuck about this bro <laughs> it's gonna stop mattering that you are the one other complete driver on the grid it's gonna, it's gonna stop mattering homie they'll find some other young kid coming through formula 2 god knows what a hotbed of talent that is and who knows they'll start him off in a horse or an alpha and it'll it'll be what it is I mean, also, you gotta know Porsche, Audi, 
are supposedly committed to coming into F1. You know, these men might make two championships look very easy when they're finished with this shit. They might <laughs> be very careful about how you throw out these, these numbers, Alonso. <laughs> be very careful. Because if them seven suddenly don't matter, okay. You, okay. You saying that all on your own. The Germans are listening too. You can say all that smack and try to direct it at the great Sir Lewis Hamilton but actually he's an eight-time world champion so really you're talking about the German right you're talking about Schumacher and that's gonna close a whole raft of opportunities for you homeboy that's all on you oh it is storming like a motherfucker let me tell you what all right so Ted Kravitz has found himself in hot water with Red Bull and Maximilian and the Orange Army and Red Bull fans. Supposedly, he's now being boycotted. And Sky Sports might even, now the whole Sky Sports team might even be getting boycotted because of his, his loose slippery. And now a Red Bull fan can have to explain to me because I don't get it. Now I don't get it, homie. Because Ted, he's just a fan of F1. He's got no racing experience. He's got no. He's got no reason. He's got no engineering. He's got no engineering experience. He's got no reason to be in, in the job space that he's. But he's there just because he loved the sport. So now, what Ted has seen, and this is the part Ted's not saying out loud, right? Ted has been so nice with y'all. He's he's played his poker face all season he's been so nice professional you know the, the, the producers no doubt told him like slow down just you know, hold your tongue anytime you're talking about Sir Lewis Hamilton the 802021 or even just try not to talk about any of that just try not to talk about it but it was topical a bit too often and he's been playing such a good soldier the whole time he can't he couldn't keep it up. He's gonna keep on trying to play the good soldier, of course. They're, they're gonna, they're gonna give him the hair, the hair dry treatment. <laughs> they're gonna blow him down in the corporate offices. But Teddy's just a fan. And if you're a down the middle fan, looking at the whole situation, and you've got no no interest in whichever driver wins, be it a Sir Lewis Hamilton or a Maximilian Verstappen. You look at the way things unfolded and why is that guy not the eight-time world champion? That's the only question that's left playing in people's heads. Now we know, and we know, we know, okay, F1, it's history, so whatever was done on the day, it's done. There's too many sponsor contracts, there's, there's, there's too many very expensive hands <laughs> that have imprinted on the results of 2021 so you know no results can be overturned now okay fine but yet you, you can't get consensus from the fans on the result right you might not like michael schumacher winning seven championships oh my god look at this domination that's that's a one team sport you might not like that but there's consensus on the results. Like, okay, those are Schumacher's championships. Okay, walk away with them. You know, you earn them. Sir Lewis Hamilton and all his championships. Yeah, those are yours. Walk away with them. You earn them. The wins as well. Do you think? Sebastian Vettel. Oh, when Sebastian Vettel was cooking. <laughs> I mean, it was. You thought at the moment, oh my goodness. Do the Germans have another one? Is this guy going to now get. Five, six? Somebody stop it. <laughs> the battle show is, is getting irksome. He was he was in highly competitive seasons and still there was a vibe of oh the battle show <laughs> is just a bit too much. But he he earned the championships. No one no one debates them in post. Even Nico Rosberg. Okay, there might be this theory, that theory. I might propagate one of those theories. 
But sure, Ross, we'll take a championship. It's all Gucci. You know, I, I know what Mercedes did, but it's all Gucci. Rosberg, take a championship. No, you know, no problem. But 2021? That's a clear robbery. Oh, Ted said it was a robbery. Yeah, he's talking about a movie script, potential movie script. But oh well, isn't it funny how sometimes life can mirror fiction? Isn't it just funny? <laughs> This is Ted's own fiction, but oh no, it, it, it struck a nerve. What nerve could it possibly strike with you men? I'm so curious, like you've got the, re the record books have noted your guys' championship, right? Okay, you can take the record books, but you've got to live with all of us out here in real time, living at the same time as you, and yeah, we're gonna have thoughts and quite frankly Ted only spoke of facts so now of course I know it's we're in the brave new world you're not allowed to speak facts anymore I, you know I get that I get that well enough after David Icke got deplatformed I totally get that <laughs> but Ted all he did was speak of facts oh no the internet's gone into a kerfuffle one a portion of the internet's gone into a kerfuffle he said nothing as far as I'm concerned, he said nothing. Oh, he let the eight-time world champion thing slip out his mouth. Yeah, that eight-time world champion, the great Sir Lewis Hamilton. Legendary F1 driver, like, I don't know what there is to debate about it. Oh, he called it a robbery. Yeah, it was a robbery. Why did Messi get fired? He probably watched the film back. The radio that was played between Horner and Messi? That's the tip of the iceberg. You don't know what went on. You don't know what went on played. That's all curated audio. The fact that any sort of audio made it to the international feed, and that was the audio. Oh my days. Oh my goodness. No wonder they fucking banned us from hearing the fucking the fucking pit wall to race director radio. It's no fucking wonder. Goodness me, they might air. The race director being co-opted on air like whoa they might air that shit people are recording you know they're gonna have that on film it's gonna be on the torrent sites forever <laughs> can go pirate bay this fucking finale jesus christ and what you're gonna tell us not to believe our lying eyes oh how dare you believe your lying eyes that's not what happened in abu dhabi 2021 and anyway maximilian verstappen he had one more Grand Prix over the season, but who cares? Who cares? Y'all don't get it. Like, y'all just do not get it. The championship came down to the final round. It was winner takes all. The wrong guy won the race. Ergo, the wrong man won the championship. We're not even going to delve into the championship in the simple fact that Max Millen Verstappen probably should have copped a race ban at some point in that championship we're not gonna do that all right oh the show must go on all right no one's gonna talk about all the lap one incidents the near incidents lewis hamilton had to jump the fuck out the way of so many of those oh you didn't notice those all right so lewis hamilton making your guy look good no 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 he's just preventing accidents for half the season and then when he left his foot in it and i was wondering when he was going to do so for that season because he was being far too nice with Maximilian. Now he left his foot in it for Silverstone and all of a sudden, oh my god, you can't do that. <laughs> Y'all have no eyes then. Y'all ain't seen how Maximilian has been racing this guy all through the season until this point. Y'all ain't seen it. Y'all ain't seen it, but oh no, now this scenario on Silverstone has upset y'all. What happened in post? Monza? Oh, the Maximilian fans can't explain Monza. Brazil? Oh, Max Millen fans can't explain Brazil. Saudi Arabia? Well, come on. There's a race ban there. Any other drivers doing all of that, that's a race ban. Because he is one half of the show of the season, he hasn't copped a race ban. Oh, no, you can't ban Max Millen. That would be the championship over. No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop that. We sold tickets. We sold tickets, they're gonna refund. Huge lawsuit. Fuck it. Skirt the rules. 
too many rules got skirted for this guy. When you do a deep dive on that 2021 season, <laughs> y'all just talking about the finale. The peak fuckery that was the Abu Dhabi finale of Formula 1 2021 season. The peak fuckery that went on there. Y'all talking about that? Y'all trying to justify that? Impossible. Don't even try, Maximilian fans. What are you doing? What are you doing? Y'all looking foolish. And now y'all upset that Ted? Y'all upset. You're all upset. Oh, I'm in my feelings now. Ted can't say that. He's making social media toxic. Yo! Yo! Are you serious? Are you serious? You've got a driver here and a team here who in the space of a year, less than a year, have completely undermined the competitive integrity of the sport. This sport has over 50 years of history. Who the fuck are you, who the fuck are you man? Who the fuck are you, man? This shit used to be prestigious, fam. You understand? This shit used to be prestigious. Now what? Y'all there in your ivory towers, you want to laugh at us? Oh, look at them. Ha ha, they, they're talking about Abu Dhabi 2021. Ha ha ha. Homeboy, we're looking at your sport right now. And your sport is a fuckery. It's a fuckery. And oh, you don't like that people talk about the fuckery that the sport has become. You know, no one was talking about shit like this. Before it was, oh, Mercedes are too fucking good at engineering. Look at these guys. Oh, budget kept them. That's a completely different discussion. That's a completely different discussion. Mind you, we could pull up Ferrari. Ferrari who copped like 120 mil per season from the F1. At the, and that's a third of their budget solved already a third I'm saying like a quarter of their budget <laughs> solved already and they had the highest budget of of all the teams no one talk about Ferrari how the money doesn't actually close gaps like that no 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 it's just Mercedes oh you got a budget cap Mercedes okay we did the budget cap thing and now the guys who shouted the loudest for the budget cap breached the cap as well as co-opting the former race director co-opting him on on live tv and it was so damning he's been fired he's been fired he's gone right all the power players they can't even talk about ben 10 he can't even talk about messi he can't talk about him right now such is the scale of the scandal and y'all still don't get it your guy doesn't have a championship even this championship the 2022 championship it doesn't it doesn't come but you we would be better off handing the championship to a charlie leclerc whoever finished a second in this driver standings i think it will be charlie leclerc but who knows if we're gonna fumble at the very last second but we should be giving the championship to charlie leclerc at least in the fans eye because we've already had insider helmut marco coming out and saying that oh all those leaks that came out earlier were accurate Detailed. Detailed. Detailed is a lot more than we got from the official documents. And what? We're all supposed to just have consensus on these Maximilian championships. Oh, that 2021 one, that counts. No, 2022, oh, that also counts. Don't mind Red Bull. They're just breaching all the rules and shit. Don't mind them. It's not, it's got nothing to do with Maximilian. Really? That's what we're going with. Because if so, I mean, it's a dead sport. There is no sport. What's Formula One? I, all it would be is just Formula Pun. Sport of puns. Just make a pun on that. <laughs> and y'all have the verve to get upset about Ted slipping. Because he's been, like I said, he's been professional all season. He would have been saying this from the jump. He would have been saying the great Sir Lewis Hamilton, eight-time world champion, if he was completely uncensored. Oh, he would have been saying that the whole season. Man's a human as well. Man's a fan as well. He's got two, a pair of functioning eyes. He knows what he saw. What, you gonna gaslight him? How? Messi got fired. How are you gonna gaslight him? Y'all over budget. How are you going to guess that? Oh, we're going to boycott Sky F1. Okay. 
throw your toys out the pram, you'll probably find the other media bites sharper. <laughs> because there's a point of contention there and the media loves that. That gets the clicks rolling. Yeah, especially when FOM take note of just how toxic this whole Maximilian thing is to Formula 1 and they usher this guy out of the limelight. They say, ah, oh, fuck it. He's not the guy. We're gonna we're gonna do the Lando project. Are y'all gonna y'all gonna find out? Your boy is just clickbait. Y'all gonna be giving clicks for a whole decade, a whole decade. Anytime, <laughs> anytime there's a news article about oh, the 2021 championship finale. Oh yup, all the Red Bull fans gonna click on it. Oh look, you're just creating toxic social media environment. Da -da 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 -da. No, the facts are not toxic. Those are facts. Those are facts. Y'all are lucky F1 works the way it does. Otherwise, this championship would have been handed over ages ago. Ages. Age long. Long time. Right. Y'all are lucky F1 functions the way it does. Because all of this could have been incredibly embarrassing. And quite frankly, only Red Bull's own mouths make it more embarrassing. Right. But I hope that the great eight-time world champion... Sir Lewis Hamilton lives rain free in your heads. Yeah, because he's going to. He's going to. And the funny thing is, the great eight time world champion, Sir Lewis Hamilton, Formula One legend, he, he's not even threatened by Maximilian. He don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. He's in the media saying, ah, oh, the Maximilian era, it hasn't even started yet. Don't worry about it. He'll, he'll get some more shine. He's saying that. What? Excuse me? He said that on air? Yeah, he said that on air. He don't give a fuck. This kid ain't nothing. There is nothing of value Maximilian can put together from here onwards that is going to match any of the grades. Because there's too much controversy around this shit. There's too much fucking... Look, look at this. Look at this. Marco, your own guy, he's out here saying... Other teams had detailed knowledge. And I've taken that all sorts of ways. In 30 minutes. All sorts of fucking ways. But y'all want to get upset about Ted? Just saying a fact? Y'all gonna get burned in this F1 thing. Good. Good. Stay around. I'm gonna stay around. I'm gonna stay around. You stay around. We'll exchange blows. We'll see who got more bruises at the end. How about that? Because, I mean, the, the delusion. <laughs> the delusion of some Red Bull fans, Maximilian fans. The utter delusion to think that everyone just has to be on board. With, oh, look, it's in the history book, so the championship counts. Okay, sure, count it. Now convince me that the championship is legit. Oh, you can't do that, can you? No, 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 can't do that. I got salvos in stock. Right? I got salvos in stock. I got dimensions of play you ain't looking at. And all the, all Ted said was that it's eight time world champion. The children can see that Sir Lewis Hamilton is eight time world champion. Ted said nothing. Ted said nothing. Nothing happened. Y'all got in your feelings. Good. I like that. I like that. I like that these are, <laughs> is it a 4chan group? These people might be from 4chan groups. I like that they're getting in their feelings. They're making all these accounts and they're starting to go at channels and shit. I like that. I like that shit, boy. You know why? Because it's just going to drive more traffic to these channels. Do that shit. Do that shit because people have been looking for, for these takes. I was watching fucking some F1 podcast. It's three white guys. I, don't, I forget the name of the podcast. They've tried to make uh, some some sort of F1 team type of thing, some F1 theme thing. And I had to listen to them talk about this whole budget cap situation and Ted Kravitz and the boycott and stuff. I had to listen to them talk to it and it was infuriating. Because it's like these guys don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Have you watched Formula One? Like, what the fuck? Y'all putting up hour-long podcast 
and you can't even get the most basic of fucking issues that is clouding the fucking space correct have you watched formula one are you just under someone's fucking pay thumb like what is it what the fuck is it because you're out here trying to excuse a fraudulent championship for for what for what you're gonna get free tickets to a grand prix is it worth it is that worth it? They better open a back door for you in, in back there. I swear down. I swear down. If you're going to do that, they better be opening some back door for you there. The funky fruit, the funky ass sex parties or what have you. Whatever the fuck goes on in that back room is whatever goes on. Right? But they better be opening some type of back door for you. If you're going to insist on getting it wrong on such a basic issue of, okay... Not only was race director fired because of how things were handled, but he shouldn't have been fired. Actually, what should have happened is Wheatley and Horner, one of them, should have gotten the lifetime ban from F1. They should have been preatorial, but no one's broaching that. Right? So, okay. A race director got fired. Safety car procedures were not followed. Restart procedures were not followed. The race director was co-opted on air before making that decision. And two, the team that benefited was over budget. So now if we're in a brave new world and no one's allowed to say facts, then okay, all of y'all can stick to saying that Maximilian is 2021 champion and all of that. Stick to that, right? I'll let big brother come take me. Give a fuck. <laughs> Give a fuck. Like fucking hell, it's Formula One. Like, who cares? Y'all can't even be honest about a simple thing like racing cars on a circuit we can't be honest about that what did your eyes see your eyes saw a robbery okay why not just call it a robbery oh can't be honest about that no 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 and y'all expect to have a, a, an honest political system off the back of that y'all y'all fucking clowns bro y'all some major fucking clowns Y'all fucking disappoint me, man. People out here wondering, oh, why would anyone lie about all this major shit in the world? Oh, why would anyone lie about the coup vaccine? Oh, why would anyone... Y'all lying about fucking racing cars on a circuit. This shit ain't helping nothing. This isn't helping anything of anything of anything. Oh, but it develops technology. You could develop that technology. I mean, the militaries develop more fucking technology. You know, more tech has been developed on behalf of the fucking military. You could get all this shit. This is just set dressing, lads. This is fucking set dressing. We can't even be honest about the set dressing? Oh, but the Lewis Hamilton fans also lie. Okay, about fucking what? About fucking what? Mind you, Sir Lewis Hamilton fans out here doing the hard policing calling out when oh no you gotta be able to stick to reality over there don't be a reality denialist call that shit out and oh no here's podcast being viewed by i don't know a few ten thousand people maybe a hundred thousand who the fuck knows i didn't check the numbers and these men just lying bold-faced on the camera y'all lap that shit up Y'all lap that shit up, it's like crack. Feeds your delusions. Yeah, I hope that shit tastes good, fam. I hope it tastes good. You're not gonna be eating it up for all that long. So, I hope it tastes good, right? I hope Ted got in your mental space because y'all thought it was just the black people. Oh, it's just these Negroes. Look at them. They all think Sir Lewis Hamilton is eight-time world champion. Really? Really? Go quiz the F1 fandom on that. <laughs> you might be surprised. Alright, so the crowd has booed Sir Lewis Hamilton, the great Sir Lewis Hamilton. Now, please understand, the Mexican people, they are fiercely loyal. What they're seeing is Red Bull have handed their driver a, an opportunity in a front-running car. So now they're seeing... 
I can't say it like that. Now they're seeing Maximilian Verstappen fans. <laughs> Why was I gonna say Maxi and hmm? You take your pick on that one. <laughs> but all these Maximilian Verstappen fans, um, I shouldn't say all, but some of them, they've gone and co-opted the Mexican audience. And they've gotten them to boo against Sir Lewis Hamilton. Perez has had to step in, because he can't believe his own people would be doing this. He had to step in and say, hold up, whoa. What, whoa, 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 lads. <laughs> whoa, everybody. I can't have my people on film booing the great eight-time world champion Sir Lewis Hamilton, legendary Formula One drive. I can't, I can't have that. I need all of y'all to stop. Just stop. Settle yourselves down. This is just a uniform. This Red Bull thing, guys. It's just a uniform. All right. You don't have to. You don't have to take part in their wars. Don't worry about that. That's what Paris had to do. That's all he had to do. And just like that, the boos instantly became cheers. Oh, who would have guessed it? If all this behavior continues, you know, Red Bull and Maximilian fans, y'all gonna find yourselves on an island. That's cool. And I hope y'all ready for what it's like being on an island. If you're a Lewis Hamilton fan, you've been on the island for a minute. <laughs> you've been on the island for a good minute. So Lando Norris has noted that the new tire direction with no tie blankets being planned is going to lead to a big shunt. Now I'm glad that he said it. I'm glad that someone has said it. Right, I was going to say that last week, but okay. <laughs> best, to just, best to just wait and see what happens. So now Lando has said the thing that should be on people's minds with this new tire direction and we shall see what decisions are made going forward. As I've said in previous videos, it's highly irresponsible to me to be getting rid of tie blankets. I don't see a reason to do so. What, to cut costs? I mean, hobbyists have tire blankets. So what costs are you cutting? Like at some point, you've got to like, recognize that this is motorsport. All right, this is peak motorsport as well. Oh, but IndyCar does it. Okay, that, that's, that's IndyCar. Right, you said IndyCar. <laughs> oh, but NASCAR, the stock cars do it. Okay, those are stock cars. Right, but Norris, he's noted that if y'all follow through on this no, no tire blankets, no tire warmer situation that y'all are wanting to push to save some money, there might be some some unfortunate events that occur in the future on account of that. But anyway, that's the vid. The storm has died down. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hey, old Breezy. Let me show you how to keep the dice rolling when you're doing that thing over there. All right. Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. Better know that I don't and I won't ever stop. Cause you know I gotta win every day, day. Go! See, you really, really wanna pop me. Go. Just know that you will never pop me. Go. And I know that I gotta be a little cocky. Go. You ain't never gonna stop me. Every time I come, a nigga gotta set it, then I gotta go and then I gotta get it, then I gotta blow and then I gotta shut it. Any little thing a nigga think that he be doing, cause it doesn't matter, cause I'm gonna dead it, dead it. Then I'm gonna murder everything and anything about a boom, about a bing. I gotta do a lot of things to make it clearer to a couple niggas that I always win and then I gotta get it again and again and then again. And I be doing it to death and now I move a little foul, nigga better call a rap and everybody know my style. I niggas know that I'm the best when it come to doing this and I be banging on my chest and I bang in the east and I bang in the west and I come to give you more and I will never give you less. You will hear it in the street and you can read it in the press. Do you really want to know what's next? Let's go. See the way we own it and we all up in the race and you know we got it going to try to keep up with the pace. If we struggle and hustle and set it and I get it and we always got to do it, take it to another place. Got to taste it and I got to grab it and I got to cut all through this traffic just to be at the top of the throne. But I know I got to have it.